Welcome back, everyone. We're now going to look at IBM and GitLab working together. Use case number two. This is where GitLab CI CD is going to be driving the, the pipeline of deployment to IBM Cloud. Okay, give a little context here before we begin. So we have a GitLab project. This is a uh, Node.js project. Uh, just so you know, IBM Cloud was recent, was called Bluemix, was recently renamed from Bluemix to IBM Cloud. So you will see Bluemix, especially all within IBM Cloud. Here's our CICD, the GitLab. We'll actually be using GitLab repo. The app will be sitting, the Node.js app will be sitting in GitLab. We'll build it. We'll have the next uh, stage where we'll go through a uh, collection of concurrent tests. And we'll run a Java doc for some documentation. And then when we deploy it, we'll deploy it to the IBM Cloud. So let's look at this live. Here's that Bluemix Node.js project we're talking about. And you can see here, uh, we have pipeline. Let's look at our pipeline quickly. To do the build, the concurrent test we're looking at from functional to SaaS, some basic code coverage, some documentation, staging eventually to IBM Cloud. And we'll look at this in much more detail. Just to give you a little idea how this was done using Travis CI open source uh, DPL. In that you can see here, there's a bunch of cloud providers supported. We are just focused on one of these. Another one would be something like OpenShift. So, and let's go see how this is done. There's a manifest YAML file that we'll be using. This will define a domain, my domain at IBM Cloud. This will be the app, the name we'll call it. Actually is test, it's called the EST within GitLab as we build it, but as we move it to IBM Cloud, we'll rename it to this name and put it on this host with the guy, my domain, mybluemix.net. Here's the gitlab.ci-yaml file. You can see here's where we built the test, that Node.js file. And then here's where we deploy it using Travis CI DPL and all of my IBM Cloud credentials. And we'll actually walk through that in detail. But for now, let's go look at the app itself so we know what it is before and after. Here it is. Sitting in my IBM Cloud dashboard, I got it running. And we can actually look at the app. And we can see it's got this bright red background and this nice, calm, cooling gray lettering. We're going to flip that. We'll have a nice gray background and a bright red text. How's that? Okay. So let's go make some changes here then. I want to go with the web IDE. We have a nice little feature now Command P. I can look at my style sheets pretty quickly drive to it. Maybe we just want to change our background from this red to a nice gray. Let's do that. And let's change our uh, little color right out here to text to be red. Fair enough. We'll do a commit. We can stage now multiple files in one commit. Less commits. I can go in here and just make a demo uh, color change. Uh, and we'll just go to master. In reality, we would have done this in a uh, you know, using a merge request, but for demo purposes, I'll just commit that right to branch. Once we do that, what's going to happen is the GitLab CIDCD will take precedence here and start working on our pipeline. And you will see that that's now one. This will take a few minutes and then we'll come right back. So you can see the build is uh, almost finished. At the staging phase here. I'm going to walk through some of this in a little more detail. We'll drive into the actual build here. And you can see we're pulling down a Docker image. We're installing npm to install the actual Node.js app. And here you can see where we install it. The app was test and the test was successful. Next, we're doing some functional testing, some statistic analysis, SAS, some simple code coverage. And then over here, we're looking at just using simple Java doc or some documentation. Well, this is all really nice, concurrent, uh, running together. You'll we'll save some time, but what you really save time is more in the collaborative uh, capabilities of GitLab's all working together in that one merge request, as I showed you earlier <clears throat> in the, uh, the I2P demo. Well, let's start looking at the staging now. This is where we're going in, and we're actually using DPL Travis CI. Here's my uh, creds for IBM Cloud, so I can get in. You can see this is where I actually log in. I can authenticate in. Uh, you can see here later on, a little farther down, it's going to update, and now we're going to use this as the app name, that test uh, Node.js 
and I'll be pushed into my buddy over here at IBM Cloud. And you can see here the app was started and it looks like it succeeded and we now have an app sitting there ready for us to look at. So let's do that. So the type line was done, it was completed, it all passed. And we can now go to IBM Cloud and let's go to our dashboard. And we can see there's our UC2 Node.js app, and we can go visit that. And what we should see now is a nice gray background with the red. So we did the push, it was completed, and that concludes our GitLab and IBM, IBM Cloud working together. This was use case number two where GitLab CICD was used to push to IBM Cloud.